A lot of people are saying that banks are going to collapse after March 11th. Fox is saying that 2024 is going to be the biggest crash of our lifetime. CNN is saying that Wall Street is worried about another regional banking crisis. You have doomsayers on social media saying the exact same thing, but they're amplifying it. So what's happening on March 11th that's going to lead to this inevitable crash? The reason why this happened is because of the bank failures that happened in 2023. There were five total bank failures last year, Silicon Valley, Signature Bank, and First Republic being the largest ones. The Federal Reserve came in and implemented the Bank Term Funding Program, also known as BTFP. Pretty much cheap loans given to banks to make sure that they could stay liquid amidst all the hard times. And for a while, banks actually were making money off of this because the interest that they had to pay was less than the interest that they were getting holding their reserves at the Fed. The banks were actually getting 0.47% in profit by doing this. Now those loans are coming to an end. Right now, the total balance of all the loans taken, at least last month, was $161 billion. So now there are wild predictions for an economic collapse. Fox News provides a study saying that there are 186 banks vulnerable to a SVB-like collapse. The fact that the office sector in commercial real estate is plummeting is not helping banks that are heavily invested in those types of loans, like NYCB. Here's something you have to know. Very, very wealthy people profit from whatever the mainstream media says. What I've noticed is if the mainstream media says go left, the very wealthy people are going right. Keep in mind, I don't think that we're headed for extremely prosperous times or that we're in prosperous times. I just doubt that we are due for an imminent recession at any minute. Here's an investment fun fact. If there is bad economic news being spread all over the internet for months, we say that it's already priced into the market. It's only the office sector in the commercial real estate market that's struggling right now, and they represent about 4% of the entire real estate market. And since a lot of those offices are no longer being occupied for working, they are being converted to apartments. The Wall Street Journal has said that turning empty offices into apartments is getting even harder, but the number of office conversions is poised to increase sharply this year. Now, this is a chart released by the actual FDIC of the problem banks from 2008 to 2023. 2022 and the beginning of 2023 were rough, almost 200 problem banks. We are now down to 56. Last year, the major banks passed with flying colors against the Federal Reserve stress test, and the most recent results will be released June this year. And my question to you is, who do you believe? Do you believe Fox News that sells outrage? Do you believe CNN that sells the same outrage? Do you believe the influencers who are echoing all of the mainstream media? Or do you believe actual representatives of the United States economy? I don't trust any of them. I use them all as cross-referencing sources from my own conclusions. What I've witnessed is that there were predictions for a recession in 2022 and then definitely for 2023, and they have not happened. Will there definitely be a recession in 2024? I don't know. Nobody really does. Because I have been acting like we've been in a recession since I've been making money. I barely spend anything on luxury goods. My wife and I generally live poorer than the money that we actually make. Even when I was poor and barely had two nickels to rub together, I always had an extra nickel saved just to buy in case something bad did happen. January of 2023, so many influencers said that the dollar was definitely going to collapse very soon because of BRICS and that the entire US economy would collapse within a few months because of the bank failures. I said that they did not have anywhere near enough evidence to support those conclusions. And oh, pfft, guess who was right? My name is the Geo Husser, and I want to help you guys learn and know so you don't get so scared that you get easily tricked. Thanks for watching, and I really hope this helps you guys.